Welcome back to Amnesia Memories. Last time we were here, I have a bad habit of going to all the bad endings that want to kill me. And Orion made a stupid theory about the shanking madman at the train station. Let's go die some more, really. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is from last time, so, you know, I don't wanna, uh, I think it was I was chopped in half. I, I really rather not, honestly. So, I'll stay home. Well, I guess you have a point. He told you not to come, so I guess we shouldn't, huh? Then let's drop this topic. Let's go back to our original plan and relax. Hey, in 20 minutes, they're going to show a bunch of B-list celebrities and make them eat noodles. Wanna watch? I love watching these pointless TV shows. I like to see that they're actually human. Oh, someone's here. I wonder who it is. Maybe it's the mailman. Ukyo? Oh, there you are. I'm so glad. Hey, he just suddenly suddenly fell to the floor. What is going on? Oh, sorry. I came running straight here from home. I'm out of energy. I don't know what I would have done if you went to that place. I panicked. I'm sorry, Ukio. You have... You have so much to worry about, and here I am constantly doing the things I shouldn't do. I'm so glad you stayed here. I'm so relieved. I'm so sorry. I made you run so very far. What is he talking about? He was the one that told you to come out. Oh, come to think of it, I should have taken a taxi, but it was close by. <sighs> well... I'm going to head out. Bye. Well... Oh! Hey, 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 hey! Wait now! You can't just go home after all that. It makes no sense. Uh, I feel like everything is a bad idea. But... I'll do it anyways. Would you like to come in for tea? If you're alone with me, in an empty place, it wouldn't be good. Uh... I have no confidence in the idea that I won't do all sorts of odd things to you. Uh... <laughs> so that said, I'm going home. Be sure to stay inside. Goodbye. And there he goes. So Ukio came running over to make sure he didn't leave home. That was nice of him, but why was he so worried about it in the first place? I think we're going to have to get closer to Ukio and talk to him. Ah, gotta no memories back yet. I'm pretty sure we got some memories back, and you're just out of the loop, Orion. Good morning. Well, you're on the late shift, so technically it's already afternoon. Hmm. Ah, is it UV? You're early today. I came in to prep the kitchen. You know, you sh You still would have made it in time if you came a little later. Well, it's better she came earlier than later, right? Hmm. I don't know about that. Arriving too early may be a waste of time. It's best to act efficiently. I'll have you know, Kent. 
I never act efficiently. Rational. Ooh, whoa, why should we come? <laughs> Rational men who always have to be right don't get the ladies. That's none of your business. And besides, seeing that EQ goes through. Seeing what EQ goes through makes me fed up with women entirely. Speaking of EQ, he stopped by this morning. He's. What? He said needed to speak with V. He said he needed to speak with V. I told him she had the late shift and he went home. What? Iki dropped by? I wanted to see him. Oh, too bad. You're so lucky. Iki's always talking to you. Hm. I bet, I bet you he's just curious. If you want Ikiyu to have romantic feelings toward you, you sure as hell better work hard to gain his attention, Mine. That's none of your business. Oh, excuse me, Mine. V? Yes? Do you mind putting this magazine away on that bookshelf? Please be sure to place them in a location where the customers can reach them. This is... Uh, a photography magazine? Yes, this is the magazine where Ukyo submits his photos. I've decided to subscribe to it. Oh, you're a real fanboy, aren't you? Uh, oh, did that offend you? No. For those who don't know the situation, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that way. Mm, what? You see, this magazine? My grandfather told me about it. He fell ill many years ago and didn't have much longer to live. Oh, um... My grandfather loved pho photographs. He told me how much he enjoyed them and looked forward to every month's publication. I never really was interested in it, so I just brushed it off, but... The other day, my grandfather... Wait, what? So that's why I wanted to pay my respects to him, and decided to read this magazine in his place. Oh my gosh, manager. I'm so sorry for calling you a fanboy. Well, to be honest, I was just lying. What? Hey, come on, I almost fell for it too. I did too. I, you know, I didn't take the manager as a joker. On a side note, I told the same story to Ukyo who dropped by this morning and he believed me too. He was tearing up. <laughs> huh? Ukyo dropped by? Well, the fact that he just went home must mean nothing really happened today. Hey manager, I thought I told you not to trick customers and make them cry. Think the manager's gonna listen to you, Orion. He does whatever he wants. Home sweet home. Nothing happened today. Like life endangerment or cryptic warnings. It's so nice to have a day go by by go by peacefully. Yep. It would be so nice if every day went by like this, just peacefully. But that's not good. I totally forgot to work on your amnesia. Oh no, I'm so sorry. The whole day has come and gone with nothing else but boring work to show for it. I'm starting to lose sight of my purpose. And I'm too busy being caught up with who Ukyo is and what his true intentions are. This isn't good. I'm supposed to support you. Starting tomorrow, I promise to do my best. I'm serious. I'm really sorry, okay? Hot soup and cheese fondue order up. Going to table two. What's the status of the mimosa salad and pickled veggie combo? That'll be out in 30 seconds. They're plating it. They're plating it now. Who's plating it? How many people work here anyways? I printed the bill for the two people at table one, so I'll bust a table and set the three waiting up front. 
Three people? I thought it was that young couple next. I tried seating them, but the girlfriend was like, I didn't know we were going to a maid cafe. The maids are too cute. I don't like it. I'm getting real pissed off. And then she just stormed out. Ah, uh, right. I can see that happening. I should have handled that party. But if he did that, I think the boyfriend would have been mad. No point in stressing over it. Well, I'm off. Then we should carry the food, too. Let's go, V. You're really getting the hang of this. When you first started, I wasn't sure how you'd survive. I guess you can do it despite your amnesia. That's great. But it's not good to be, to be getting used to the fact that you don't have your memory, huh? Man, things have really been throwing me off lately. Maybe it's all Ukiyo's fault. I'll come to think of it. Ukiyo isn't here today, is he? I wonder what he's doing. Excuse me? Can... Can I give you my order, please? Hey, a uh, customer's calling. Gotta go. Great job today. Oh, I didn't know there was a park here. I guess it's more of a garden than a park. There are lots of trees. It's nice. It's so relaxing. In the world I come from, there's no greenery anywhere, so when I'm in a place like this, it really feels like a blessing. I like this park. What do you think? It'd be great if you liked it too. I took the scenic route, hoping it'd, it'd stimulate, stimulate you, but... Seems like this place wasn't that memorable. Maybe a person would be a better trigger than a location. Oh, oh, wait, what? You just jerked all of a sudden. Did something happen? Sleepy sleep. Uh, Ukiyo? What are you doing sleeping here? Don't tell me. You fainted? You don't look too well. Well, I guess that's true all the time. Uh-huh. Oh. Where am I? Ah, uh, that's right. Damn it. I'm still... alive, huh? Yet again, I... I couldn't escape this world. Hey, don't you think this is odd? It's scary. Uh, I got stuck in the shrubbery. T bastard. Whoa. Whoa. It's all your fault. Thanks to you, I... If you didn't exist, then I... Ah, uh, this isn't good. V, run for it. Jesus Christ, man. I'm gonna need you to let me go. Let's go, hurry. Uh-huh. You're... What are you doing here? Huh? Oh my god. What was I just doing to you? Sorry, I'm so sorry, I really am. I must have been really out of it just now. I scared you, didn't I? Are you hurt? Nah, I'm good. You mostly just grabbed my shirt. I just, you know, I'm just glad you didn't grab me by the throat. Because then that would be a different story. Ah, uh, okay. Good. You know, I'm telling you, if you just approach me unguarded like that while I'm asleep, that's no good. God knows what would have happened to you. Well, 
what would happen to me. I don't need to ask that question. I already know what's going to happen. So, can I approach you when you're awake? My being awake would be worse. Please try to keep your distance. Please, please try your best to keep at least two meters of distance between us. What is he talking about? That's really specific. Well, this time isn't my fault for sleeping in such a place. Oh, it's my fault. It's not your fault. But from now on, if you ever find me sleeping in a park, or in some type of structure, or in the street, just leave me be. A parking structure, or the street? Does he always sleep in these places? What, is he homeless or something? <laughs> Are you homeless? Hey, don't ask him so up front! It's too late. It's already been done. I understand how you might have come to that conclusion, but I do have a home. As you can tell, I'm pretty horrible when I wake up. Almost inhumane. So I try my best to not sleep at home. You see, I live by myself. So if I slept at home, there would be no one to stop me when I woke up. But if it's outside in the afternoon, people would be around, so it'd be harder for me to be violent. Violent, right? Uh, what the heck is he talking about? Man, he always acts like this. And besides, no matter what his circumstances may be, full out sleeping outside is pretty tough. You're thinking I'm odd, aren't you? I don't blame you. I do say some bad omen type things and leave people hanging. It really sounds cryptic, doesn't it? Well, I already know who you are, so I'm really not all that surprised. So he's self-aware at least. I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I guess I still am making you feel a little scared. Sorry. So, my warnings. Uh -huh. Well, I see them in my dreams, like there's an attacker at the station, or that you'll fall in a well. All I do is tell you, it's simply a premonition type thing. There's no other reason. Baby boy, I already know what's up. Don't worry about it. If I say that, will you believe me? If I told you the truth, you wouldn't believe me anyways. So can you just accept that they're all dreams? Or you can consider them the ramblings of an old man, as long as you listen to my warnings. Anyways, there aren't many people here today. I should move somewhere else where more people are around. Oh, I know. Why don't we go to the place you said you liked before? I think we can still make it in time. Hey, wait. Sorry. Pretend that didn't happen. Why am I inviting you somewhere? Ugh. This isn't good. I'm getting confused again. Let me walk you back. You should be heading home. Come on, V. I really apologize for today. You must have been scared. From now on, when I sleep outside, I'll be sure to sleep as far away from your place as possible. Uh, that's not the point. I personally feel like you shouldn't sleep outside, period. If you keep that up, it won't be good for your body, and it's way past the level of an oddball who loves napping outdoors. And, um... I know I shouldn't be saying this, but... I'm glad I ran into you today so unexpectedly. I keep telling myself to avoid you as much as possible, but it's no use. I'm glad I ran into you today. He said this to me before. Really? Are you that girl from back then? Are you real? No. 
I didn't think I'd re reunite with you like this. You know, after that day, I really regretted it. I wish I could have at least gotten your contact information. I wanted to talk to you more, so I'm really glad I ran into you today. I'm glad I was able to meet you again. What? Really? You're okay with me? Oh, no, no, I'm not doubting you, but I didn't think you would give me such a quick response. Ah, uh, I suck. I really can't find the right words. My mind's drawing a blank. What should I say in these situations? How can I properly convey to you how I'm feeling? Right now I'm really... Man. Ukyo is really cute. <laughs> I mean, no surprise from me that I think this. <laughs> but what, what god hates Ukyo so much? <laughs> That's just... Uh, I don't... Mm. I don't really like you, you know, and I just... I just want you to suffer. I just hate you so much. What, I'm supposed to list some reasons? I have none. I just, just instant hatred. It's equivalent to love at first sight, except it's hate at first sight. And also, I'm a god. So I can do whatever I want, because you're just a puny human, and I don't give a crap. I guess we'll just end it here for today. I'll drop by the cafe tomorrow. I'll see you around. Hmm? What? No. Didn't I just tell you not to come near me? B? Me? Well, I mean... Kind of know how he feels. But. What? Uh, hey, that's not good. That question's just way too suspicious sounding. That beats me. I don't know how you felt. Or is it something I should answer for you? But what I can tell you, tell you, is that I love you. You are more precious to me than anyone in this world. That is more of a reason that you shouldn't come near me. Ah, oh, poor Ukyo, man. Seriously. The world is so mean to him. What? Your memories have returned? Memories with Ukio? That's why you asked him those questions? <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no way that you've gotten your memories back. Really, Orion? Orion, you're not in the me club. But I know. I know what happened. So I don't understand. Why you be acting like this? Why you be doubting me for? There's no way that I wouldn't notice something like your memory is returning. You can't say anything because earlier you fourth wall broke. And then now you're just a clueless baby boy and you ain't got nothing. Wait, really? You really do remember? Then if that's the case... That's not a memory. Because it hasn't affected me at all. If it's a real memory, then I should be separated from you, right? It doesn't work like that in this world. But see, look. Nothing has changed, has it? I'm still how I was just a little while ago. But if you still insist that you've seen something, then what did you see?
I saw the destruction of the heavens. Long live the king. Good morning. What a beautiful morning. And yeah, I've worked today. Despite the fact that it's summer break, I feel like you're overexerting yourself. You have too many shifts. You're pretty much a full-time employee. I wonder if there was something you wanted to buy or something. Oh. Hey, look over there. Here. The corner of the calendar. It says in small print, Goal, Kobe. Kobe. I don't know. Kobe is the place that you met Ukiyo for the first time, right? So were you trying to work a lot to save money and travel to Kobe again? Was it just to see the area? Or do you think it was because you wanted to see Ukiyo? I wonder which one it is. This isn't enough information to figure it out. Good morning. Good morning, V. You're on time, as usual. Good morning. Hey, are you going to the fireworks show that's coming up? I was just talking about this with Mine. Last year, it was postponed by a week due to the rain, but this year, the weather's... Oh. Oh, Ukyo. Crap. I'm too early, aren't I? Seems like you're not open yet. I'll come back. Good morning, Lukio. We'll be opening in five minutes, so not to worry. Come on in. Oh, thank you. Well then, I'll go change the sign to open. Yes, thank you. Thanks for letting me in early. But weren't you in the middle of a morning meeting? No, we were chatting about the fireworks show. Ah, that's right. It's on the 13th. You're not going to take pictures? Or are you going to go watch with V? Hmm? Oh, that won't happen. I'm sure she wouldn't want to go out with some stranger like me. And besides, she and I, she and I are just a customer and a waitress. That's how I'll always be. What? Yesterday he said stuff about how important you were to him, and now he says that? Does he like you, or does he not care? Which is it? Stop playing with my heart like that. Who are you? Oh, then if that's the case, I can invite her, right? I'm just assuming it's Iki. Oh, Iki. I thought you were going to be late today, but you are exactly 30 seconds early. I'm always careful about not being tardy. I heard some part-timers were sent off to the front lines, and I haven't returned for two years. Front lines? Well, getting back to the subject, would you want to watch the fireworks with me? Come to think of it, Iki, you mentioned something about it the other day, didn't you? Yes, I was going to message her an invite, but I thought it would be better to ask her in person. Though I'd mistaken when her shift was and lost a bit of time, so what do you say? The 13th? Or have you been invited already by Shin or someone else? Psst. Ukyo. Is it safe? Am I good to go, or should I say no? Oh, does Ukiyo seem a little annoying to you? Why don't you go, V? What? I won't be going, so you should have him take you. Waka, do you think you could show me in? Oh, sure. Right this way. Hmm. 
I thought he was interested in you, but I guess not. Every time he came here, he'd always talk to you, so I thought he was trying to get your attention. Oh well, it'd be a waste to miss this opportunity worrying about others. So on the 13th, you'll be alright going with- you'll be alright going with me to the fireworks show then, right? I'll send you a message later with the details. See you. He- he's pretty straightforward. We didn't even have a chance to say no. But don't you think it might be a little reckless to go out to go out with a person you don't know? And besides, what are Iki's intentions for inviting you? I thought he said something like you weren't his type or whatever. So if you're in, so if you're inviting that kind of person to see fireworks, if it's not love, then friendship, platonic friendship. Hmm. Friendship with benefits. Hmm. Hmm. What's up with Mime? That's not fair, it's always you. I want to be able to go on a date with Iggy too. I hate you! Oh. Not another problem. Iggy, you idiot. You know, I'm just here. I want to have a fun time. I just want to be like, what up, my guy? Who's my bro? You are, Kent. That's all I want. <laughs> home sweet home. Man, I'm tired. Dealing with customers is more tiring than I thought. I'm as tired as that time I fused with a dog and ran around in the snow for hours. <gasps> oh my god, you can do that. I wish I could do that. Oh. Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you before? I can fuse with other things besides humans. That's my special ability. Other spirits can't do that. Don't you think it's cool? Well, probably thanks to that I fuse super easily with you, but... I've never had a situation where I couldn't separate from the host. Not even once. Oh, what message. You know, maybe you should be glad I'm not a dog, because then you'd be stuck with me forever. <laughs> Wanna go where you caught us? You have the day off tomorrow, right? Rika's saying she wants to see you too, so maybe the three of us can go look at you caught us. No, 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 not with Rika. Leave me alone. Just stay far away from me. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What should we do? If we're with him for a long period of time, it feels like he may catch on about your amnesia. But if we don't talk to people, your memories won't come back. This could be a really good chance. It's also somewhat of a dilemma. And besides, if Rika's with you, it may be better than being alone with him. It'd be a good practice for the 13th. Uh, I'd rather be alone with Iki. <laughs> I don't want to deal with Rika. Please. Please no. Alright, the three of us will go out tomorrow. So, now that that's settled... What I don't like is Ukyo's attitude. Is he interested in you or not? After talking to him yesterday, I could grasp that his warnings were all from good intentions, but then why act like that? If a girl you like gets invited on a date by another guy in front of you, would you really act like that? Orion, have you not been paying attention at all? Every encounter we've had... Okay, not every. But like, majority of our encounters have been Ukyo going, Don't get close to me. I don't want to hurt you. It's a bad idea to be close to me. Please stay t at least two feet away from me at all times. Keep your hands and feet away from me at all times. If I am sleeping, please do not come near me. Hey, you know why I sleep outside all the time? It's because I get violent when I wake up. And if I'm alone, there's no one to stop me from being violent and scary. 
it's like it's like that moment at the park didn't happen, Orion. Were you not paying attention? Jeez, what are you even good for? I'm just kidding, I love you. If a girl you like gets invited on a date by another guy in front of you, would you really act like that? Like, oh yeah, just take her. What is up with that? I mean, he said it himself before, but it really seems like Ukyo is trying his best to not get too close to you. Oh, Orion, sweet child. Maybe for Ukyo, seeing you in a special way and avoiding you at all costs holds the same meaning. But it would be nice to know more about what's on his mind. You think so too, right? I'm sure you'd be worried not knowing what his true intentions were, wouldn't you? I want to know if the feelings he has for you are indeed true. Excuse me? You get that away from me. I do not want any part of that. Who is this? Is this Iki or is this Rika? I don't know. Good day. I seem to have made you wait. There she is. I came on time but seems like you were earlier. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, you never get used to her. So... So, I heard from Iki. I heard he invited you to the fireworks show. Oh, uh, crap. I wonder if she's mad. Please don't be mean. Eh? Please don't be mean. Eh? Do, you th do you think I'd be jealous? Do you think I'd be so mad that I'd go to the Kinshin Boshin Temple and curse you? I would never. I mean, Iki invited me to the beach. Between a fireworks show and, the, and a beach, the beach is obviously at the higher rank, so I'd be more than happy to let you go watch fireworks. Despite saying she's more than happy, her joking about going to the temple to curse us sounds real. Okay, so definitely not like a weird thing where Rika likes us instead, because I'm pretty sure that's what I thought before and it's really scary. But this is still equally scary because she likes Iki still and also that curse thing. I don't trust you, Rika. I really don't want to be here right now. And besides, even if he invited you to the beach, I don't think you'd be able to go in. It'd be too cold. Isn't it important for fans to share? Although it's important to get a leg up as well. <laughs> fans? I guess then you and Rika are in the same fan club or something. Wait, hold up. Fan club? Is it a fan club for Iki? What? There's an actual organized fan club for an ordinary student? What world is this? It's just a Joker world. That's what it is. Also, I was rubbing my eye and then I scared myself somehow. I don't know how I did that. I mean, yeah, I guess he's dreamy, but... Clo you two seem close as usual. I don't know what you're talking about. I am standing, like, a mile away. Oh, hello, Mr. Iki. Are you doing well today? Yes, good morning. Sorry for the wait. I came early, but some of the members caught me. They tried to ask me where I was going today. It took a lot of work to lose them. Whoa, there seriously is an Iki fan club, huh? I did not expect this. Is they did what to Mr. Iki? I am so sorry, Mr. Iki. I caused trouble to you for my failure to educate them properly. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. 
Rather, are you guys okay? You two are the closest to me, so I hope they're not doing anything to either of you. My, you're that worried about us? Thank you so much, Mr. Iki. However, there is no need to worry. I am the president of the of the pl of the, la, 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 la. I am the president of the fan club, and she is my friend. I won't let the little brat touch her. We are not friends. I will never be friends with you. Brats? Wait, friends? I see. But if something happens. You be sure to tell me, baby. I'll come up with a plan. All I can think about is Space Dandy right now. I guess the best course of action would be for me to keep my distance from you both, but... That would sort of suck. You two are the very few people that I can actually be normal friends with. I don't want to lose... I don't want to lose you guys over something like this. Mr. Iki. Mr. Iki, I don't know, frickin' accents. <laughs> Your concern is beyond anything I would have ever imagined. I'm so glad to be alive. Should I die tomorrow, I would have no regrets in life. I've died mul multiple times, and each one of them I had major regrets. Hey. Well, anyway, let's get going. I should frequent... A shop of I should frequent, I frequent. The shop I frequent started to sell yukatas. They're pretty cute and inexpensive. V, a moment, please. Huh? What? I'm scared. I did say what I said to Mr. Iki earlier, but it's true that there have been some evil intentions within the fan club. Because Mr. Iki invited you to the fa fireworks show, he invited me to the beach, and he invited another girl to another place. He's trying his best not to play any sort of favoritism, but... There are plenty of girls that have recently joined the fan club who don't like that. Rather than being equals, they want him to only have eyes for them. That's why they are things who are things to other members. So really trivial things that stand out are making those brats jealous. Uh, you just join the fan club, that means you're on the bottom ranks, so you don't really have a say in this. How do I know you're a true fan? Hmm? <laughs> and don't be going up to me like, Oh, I'm a true fan because I know every single detail of Iki. That doesn't mean you're a true fan, that just means you're kind of weird. You were invited by me and became a member without really being interested in Iki, right? Despite seeing those eyes, you are still not infatuated with him. And because of that, Mr. Iki finds it easy to talk to you, I'm sure, but... Is that alone calls for action? I mean, even I, as the president, had a major altercation with the new members. They said it was unfair of me to continue. Of course, I completely beat the crap out of them. <laughs> I don't know how you can seriously do that voice. I mean, not voice, that laugh. <laughs> For some reason, they seemed to be weak against me, and because of their timidness, I was easily able to win. <laughs> right. Yeah, I bet. However, you don't talk much. I'm sure they think you're mellow, so they probably underestimate you. And besides, there have always been people who say calm girls are annoying because they are putting up a front. Let me be me, and I'm gonna let you be you. I don't understand. Just leave me alone, okay? Oh, where the... Were you the type of person to be hated by the girls in your class? Anyways, you're in a position where you can easily upset people, so be very careful. I suggest it would be best that you not tell others about the fireworks show, got it? Is this gonna lead me to die? Because I don't want to go through that one again. I really don't. I was really messed up. And I will forever remember it. Forever. Why are you standing there? Let's... Let's talk over drinks. Oh, excuse me. I will be right there. Let's go, V. Straight up, I don't know what accent that is, but it's okay, because it's turning out better than last time. We sure walked a lot, and you even got to buy a yukata. I was so nervous. Not about your amnesia, but the looks you were getting from passerby. 
Z-Z-Z. Rika, Iki, and you, the three of you walking together side by side really drew a lot of attention. But thanks to Rika being there, everything ended up going smoothly. More than that, we were able to figure out the relationship between you and Iki thanks to Rika. But what do you think? You know, about the fan club talk about that Rika was sharing with us. She was telling us not to stand out too much. It's a little scary to know that other people had bad intentions intentions towards you. Maybe it's best not to hang out with Iki. With Iki. <laughs> My voice is starting to fail me. Well, it's not starting. It was earlier. It's just becoming more apparent. Ukiyo said to go, but... Okay. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. I just want to see what happens, even though I said I don't want to, because... Ugh. And I just saw the third option, which is I'll talk it with, talk it over with Ukyo, and that's what I'm gonna do because I feel like consulting him tells me a lot of things, and also I just want to include him in everything. <laughs> I'll talk it over with Ukyo. <laughs> I said earlier, but then my phone vibrated. <laughs> I see. That may be best. It seems like Ukio knows some things we don't, so he may be able to give us advice about it. Though I have this feeling we might be going to a bad end. I'm just saying. Since we still have his number from the other day, why don't we ask him? Whoa, a reply already. What does it say? I think the result will be the same whether you ref you refuse Iki's invitation or not. You'll just be throwing fuel into on onto the fire. But nothing will happen tomorrow. Just go have fun. I wanna have faith in you, Ukyo, and I'm just gonna go. What's this? I think he's telling us to go, but that makes me feel even more worried. He said the results are going to be the same, so I feel like if we stay home, we're going to get screwed over. And then if we go, we're going to get screwed over, so... <laughs> but we'll be around people, so if we get screwed over, it'll probably go a little better. Maybe. Well, I guess right now there's no point in worrying. I guess it'll be fine. But... I thought he'd say something more in convincing us not to go. He said that he loved you. Rika said that the girls in the fan club don't get jealous because Iki treats all the fan club members equally, right? I wonder how Ukio feels about that. Is there some sort of reasoning that makes him feel fine about you hanging out with another man? Is he really not jealous, or has he given up? Whoa. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Wake up and stop the alarm. I can't stop it. It's been ringing for ages. Hurry and wake up. It's been five years. The alarm would not stop. Man, that was so loud. Thanks for turning it off. It's nice to set your alarm clock before you sleep and all, but the sound's just so loud. If you're going to use an alarm, it might be better to use a cell phone alarm. Now what time is it? Huh? Three? In the afternoon? This is bad, we overslept. What the heck kind of good does it do to set your alarm for three o'clock? Well, I was still asleep too, so I shouldn't be talking, huh? Good, good thing tomorrow's fireworks show starts in the evening. Starts in the evening, my voice suddenly wobbles. <laughs> I think it's almost time for Iki to contact you. 
I'm sure it'll start after it gets darker outside, so we should probably start getting ready around 4. But I'm a little curious about Ukiyo's message from yesterday. He did say to go have fun, so I guess he's right, but... I already said that we might as well just go, so let's go. Hmm? Alright. Then let's contact Iki. We need to decide on a meetup location. Oh, what good timing for a message. Is it Iki? Are, are we not going to look at the message? I'm sure it's about today. I wonder what time we're meeting. Come to think of it, wouldn't it be too cold to be in a Yukata in this kind of weather? It's pretty much autumn. I wonder if it'll warm up later on. Well, I'm sure you won't freeze to death or anything. Don't you dare foreshadow anything. <laughs> what if Iggy's hoping for a situation to say, if you're cold, come closer? I guess that wouldn't happen. Seems like Iki isn't all that into you. Oh. Sorry, the message, huh? So what does it say? Uh... The other girls are kind of worked up about my going with you today. I doubt... I doubt it will end well if I ignore them. Sorry, but can we cancel today's date? I know I'm the one who invited you. I'm really sorry. Wait, wh what what Really? Aw. I want to say that's messed up, but I guess we can't help it. He's probably saying it for you. But to get in the way of what Iki really wants to do, don't you think his fans are a little messed up? That's what you call a not true fr fan. 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 Friend fan. <laughs> You're not thinking about what's best for Iki. They're just prioritizing what they want to do over his feelings. Oh well, what can we do? Why don't we just hang out at home today? I was like, what is going on? Oh, did you hear the sound? I wonder if the fireworks have started. My hometown doesn't have any fireworks, so I've never seen too much of them, really. Your hometown? I just assumed you didn't really live in, like, a place place, and you just kind of constantly wandered everywhere. Considering you mentioned something about no greenery. Bad lucky. They're so beautiful. I wonder if we could see them better if we went outside. Hey, do you want to go outside for a little bit? We can go somewhere discreet. Somewhere around the area. Just a little bit. Or no. Oh god, I don't like this. One bit. Oops. I don't like this at all. This is very ominous. But we're gonna do it anyways because we're already at home and, you know, sometimes you just gotta deal. Really? Thank you. Then let's go downstairs. Oh, look that way. Let's go. Hurry, hurry. Whoa. It's so pretty. And it's so loud. Oh, look, another one. I wonder how humans can make such beautiful things. Wow, this is so amazing. It disappears in an instant, but maybe because it disappears in a flash, it makes it that much more beautiful. Fireworks really are like humans. 
if I were a human. And I know that I'm a spirit that can't do anything, but if I could be a human, then I wonder if I could ever make something like that. That's what you become a pyrotechnic for. We ended up watching all of the fireworks, huh? You were watching with me because I got all excited, right? Sorry for putting you through that, and thank you. Um, you've lost your memory and the personality that came with it, but... I think you were a really kind girl. Your co-workers, friends, they're all nice to you. You know, except in Kent's route, apparently. We were kind of a bitch. That's probably because you were nice to everyone. I hope I can hurry and change you back to your normal state soon. Oh, wait. No, I remember now. I think we had a good reason to do it. Well, it's still kind of weird. You know, considering the facts. I hope I can hurry and change you back to your normal state soon. If that happens, you and I will have to go our separate ways, but that's the way it should be. I'll try my best so you can have a happy ending, okay? Let's get back home. It's getting cold, so we should take a bath to warm up. Huh? Lukio, what are you doing here? Welcome home. Was it fun? I got a little worried and came over, but I'm glad to see you're doing fine. It's cold today, so you should hurry back inside. I'm so tense right now. Later. I didn't go out with Iki, and I just want you to know that. What? So does that mean you were alone tonight? Oh, I see. I mean, you got invited out. You should have gone. You're dumb. Hey, what the? But, I think I'm a little happy. Huh? I thought I was able to cut off all those feelings, but it seems like I was jealous. I know Iki isn't a bad guy, but still, I don't want to give him up to you give you up to him. I don't want to give him up to you. It's like, wait, excuse me? I thought you liked me. I'm, I'm so confused. I'd get jealous and upset. Sorry for being like this. But that's the truth. I wanted to tell you all I could. Toma could be taking pointers, but he would never, because Toma sucks. Well, good night. I wonder if Ukiya was waiting here for your return. I wonder if he was worried about you. You know, Ukiya is always so wishy-washy and it's hard to read what he's thinking, but... But, I'm sure he's really trying to look out for you. Okay, ever so slowly, we are beginning to learn more and more of who we were in this world. It will never, ever explain the friendship with Rika, though. I do not approve. I don't like Rika, and as much as she seems nice, there's still that scar of the past that will forever haunt me. Ukiyo's adorable, much like how I think just Shin and Kent are. You know, I gotta add more, more cute boys to the roster because he's not a cute boy. He's just, eh. And Toma, 
I don't need to talk about that again. We already know. We already know my feelings on that topic. We don't need to continuously go over it, but I will continue to do so because... <sighs> Anyways, I don't... I don't really know what else to say because... Uh, I don't... Everything was pretty G this round. And that's fine by me because... Sometimes you just gotta have a little time of not thinking about how your body was cut in half by some object that fell that I don't know what the object was. I just know that, damn, why is that in the alleyway? What is it? I don't know. Anyway, again, anyway, anyway, anyway. I hope you enjoyed this one, and I... Hope that you have a good day and a good night. Kisses. Bye.